Hello YouTube family, how are you all doing? I know everybody is excited for the new year 2021 and I thought that since the year 2020 has been financially such a roller coaster ride for everybody, why not help you all with some interesting helpful tips about how you can start your journey as a spiritual counselor or a spiritual coach in the year 2021 and also earn some extra money or as a side hustle in an ethical manner. But before we start into what are the different ways how you can earn from uh, being a spiritual counselor or a spiritual coach, I also wanted to give a brief background about my own self regarding how my journey as a spiritual coach started and how financially I have been doing on this in this field. So Honestly speaking, I was never, never, my plan was never to become a spiritual coach if you ask me like eight years back. So as a college student, I had interest in spirituality, but I never did not at that point think that I would pursue this as a career option because I was academically very, very strong. And the only expectation my family had from me is that she will get a good job and she will grow up in the corporate ladder. And that is what even I had told myself, okay, that one one day I'll become, you know, a partner in a particular top MNC or something like that. And guess what? My journey as a tarot card reader started very, very casually when, you know, I got my first pack of tarot, card, tarot cards. I learned how to read tarot cards and I started doing it for my friends and family. But then gradually with time, uh, you know, I also started charging for it because it is important to balance the energy exchange. Uh, so with that, the word started getting spread so fast. People came to know about, you know, uh, me doing tarot card reading and more and more people started coming to me for professional counseling. And guess what? This was eight years back, but even that time I was more focused on in my job as a CA because um, I had recently qualified my exams as a child accountant as well and my salary was extremely lavish I was earning like you know like multiple lakhs per month yes that's what a proper child accountant gets okay in a good company so I was earning a very good salary I was very very happy but you know and after one point, you know, I was not feeling happy with my job, with my work. That's when I wanted to, I thought that let's do tarot card reading a bit more professionally because that is what I was enjoying, you know, doing. And guess what? It's only been like a couple of years back that I actually got full time professionally into spirituality as a profession and uh, you know within just first month of quitting my job as a ca in a top mnc in a top big four actually you can google and see what the salary of a ca in an in a top big four is my income tripled yes i'm not even kidding guys within just one month of quitting my job it tripled when i became full-time professional into tarot card reading so that is the kind of scope anyone can have as you know as a spiritual coach as a tarot card reader as well if you do it ethically under professional guidance okay so without wasting much more time i will share three most important uh, uh, ways how you can also start your journey as a spiritual coach as a spiritual counselor so let's start with the first option the first option is definitely how I started my journey as a tarot card reader. So tarot card reading is something where we use uh, tarot cards or oracle cards as a medium, as a mode to help the person in front of us or your client to understand how his life will be in the near future okay so based on whatever question your client asks you pull out some tarot cards and base and you interpret those cards and you give a message to the client so for example uh you know your client has a question like you know uh in how many months should i look for a job change so you will shuffle the cards you will pick out few cards for that person and then you will give the guidance that hey i think that approximately five to six months from now is a good time for you to start looking for a job change another very common way that i personally use a lot is using tarot cards for my own self guidance on a daily basis so all I do is I shuffle the cards and I ask the cards a question that, you know, what is the one thing I need to focus on and what is the one thing I need to avoid during this particular day. And based on the guidance that the cards are giving me, I accordingly make sure that I am intentionally acting on those particular things. 
coming out uh, coming down now to the income part as to how much you can earn uh, from tarot card reading if you start doing it professionally well to be very very honest Eight years back, when I started, I used to charge only two fifty rupees for per reading. But considering the inflation and the growing economy, I think uh, my students currently who learn tarot card from me, they start with minimum like one thousand rupees per session, depending on how much time you're giving to your client. So on an average, if you are giving suppose say twenty uh, to thirty minutes, you can easily charge something like one thousand rupees per session. So now you can decide how many sessions you want to take on a monthly and on a daily basis, and accordingly decide your income. To be very very honest, my uh, students who learn tarot card reading from me, like suppose say a year back or maybe two years back also, um, gradually over time they have scaled up their income to at least something between like up to forty to fifty thousand rupees per month. And this is only from tarot card reading. I will discuss few more other sources in the coming uh, few minutes. So the next type of option that you can start as a spiritual counselor is that of a crystal healer. So all you have to do is you have to cater to the requirement of the client, whether the client requires crystals for concentration, relationship, finances, career, or even health, and you can give the client crystal healing uh, either distant. Uh, Either via distant sessions or even physical sessions as well. You can also supply them accessories and ask them to wear different kind of crystals depending on the questions that they have asked you for. And now, as you can see on the screen, the earnings can easily vary as a crystal healer from anywhere between five to ten thousand and even go up to like one lakh or even more than that, uh, to like one to two lakhs per month, depending on how much you want to scale it to. And now moving on to the last part, that is as a numerologist. So basically, numerology is a science. It is a study where we analyze the date of birth of the client or the querent, and based on that, we recommend certain numbers or uh, certain digits uh, in a combination, which can be used by the person or can also be avoided. We also do a compatibility check to understand whether two people are compatible with each other or not based on the date of birth. Now, honestly, it is no hard and fast typical match. Uh, so it does not mean that to be a good numerologist you have to be good at mathematics. Absolutely not. It is very very simple. It is calculative and it is completely logic logic based. Okay. So uh, numerology is something which is very very easy to start with, and you don't even have to own a deck of cards or some crystals for that. All you have to do is a pen and a paper, like you can see on the screen as well, and. Uh, Also, if you are interested to learn numerology, I do conduct online courses for numerology as well. So you are more than you are more than welcome to be a part of the online classes. Now, moving on to the income and the earnings as a numerologist, well, there is absolutely no limit to that as well. As far as the income and uh, investment is concerned, invest investment is only up to like five thousand rupees, whereas income can. Easily be up to like fifty thousand to one lakh rupee, depending on how many clientele, how much clientele you have, and what kind of services you're performing as a numerologist. So yeah, these were three most important, or rather, three most simple ways how you can start your journey today. Now itself, as a spiritual counselor, without uh, even investing a lot of money. So if you ask me, the average investment in any of these fields, it would not be more than five to ten thousand. in you know if you learn it properly the full fledged course okay but um, yeah and the return the return is multiple times if you do it properly in an ethical manner so i really hope guys that this this quick video on how to start your journey as a spiritual counselor how to earn some extra money in an ethical manner has been helpful if you like such kind of videos let me know in the comment uh, section below if you want me to make a part 2 a more detailed kind of video about it and yeah have a happy new year 2021 i will see you soon again take care bye bye